it's Tracy with Vibrant Health and Wellness. Welcome to another edition of Get Vibrant. Today we are going to answer a question from Heather in Arizona. Heather's question is, I am just starting to learn about detoxification and the lymphatic system. I'm wondering, how do I know if my kidneys are filtering? This is a great question, Heather. So many people ask this one all the time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a clear glass cup or a mason jar. This is going to sound weird, but you're going to want to urinate in it and then look at it for evidence of kidney filtration. You're looking for little dandruff-like specks and or mucus strings, what we also call urine sediment. This is a sign that at least one of your kidneys is filtering and your body is eliminating its cellular waste. We must understand that all of our 100 trillion cells must take in nutrition and then eliminate their waste for us to be well. If cellular waste accumulate in our bodies, then we may experience things like tumors, polyps, or cysts, such as ovarian cysts, kidney cysts, or fibrocystic breasts. And males may accumulate these waste in their prostate region. Now, if you have weak skin, then you may experience skin conditions such as acne, rashes, boils, eczema, psoriasis, or even dandruff. The reason this happens is because your skin is actually your third kidney. So if your two main kidneys are not filtering well, then toxins will move out through your skin. Eliminating sediment daily is a good indicator that your body is eliminating these wastes. If your urine is clear, then you will really want to work on getting sediment. Remember, what you do not eliminate, you accumulate. So keep working towards moving your limb by increasing your daily intake of fresh, ripe, organic, hydrating, living fruits and veggies. To learn more about detoxification or lymph system, visit my website at vibrantwellnesscoaching.com. Let's keep working together to help ourselves, our families, and our friends get vibrant. Thanks for your question, Heather.